All right, so uh, sunfish anglers in the Midwest are going to come across three species of sunfish most commonly, the bluegill sunfish, the pumpkin seed sunfish, and the green sunfish. And while there are other sunfish species, uh, those are the ones that are most commonly caught on hook and line. And tops amongst all those uh, in terms of numbers being caught are bluegill sunfish, like this one I'm holding right here. Uh, long black ear tab, long uh, pectoral fin, striping pattern, orange or yellow breast, um, black spot on the end of the uh, dorsal fin, uh, and very, very common and very popular with anglers. Um, another one that uh, gets caught quite a bit that we were able to come into a few today is the pumpkin seed sunfish. This is one of the most beautiful fish uh, in fresh waters. It's got uh, these, this beautiful uh, red and black ear tab, uh, some mottled uh, coloration to it with orange spots as well as the uh, sort of blue lines on the gill cover. So really a pretty fish. If we were to open this up and compare the uh, gill rakers on the inside, not the red, I'm going to put it back so you can swim, but not the, not the actual red gill arches, but the white gill rakers on the back side of the gills. Uh, in our pumpkin seed, they would be small little nubs. In our bluegill, they'd be long filaments. So that's one way to tell the two the, apart. And what a lot of anglers will see and causes lots of uh, uh, confusion or even sometimes arguments on the internet is what kind of hybrid uh, do we have? Here I've got an example of a hybrid and you can see that pattern of uh, vertical bars like a bluegill, but the giveaway uh, that, it's a, that it's a hybrid, it also has that red and black ear spot pattern, a longer ear tab like a bluegill, and even if I take a look at the fin margins, they don't pop real well, but they usually have sort of a white fin margin. So this is a cross probably between a bluegill and a pumpkin seed. So you do come across some hybrids, and the neat thing about hybrids, they tend to grow very fast, right? In the genetics world, it's called uh, hybrid vigor or heterosis. And a lot of times folks will send in pictures to, to our offices with these great big fish, thinking they have a new state record uh, bluegill or pumpkin seed. And a lot of times what we're seeing are, are hybrids. We're very carefully looking at all the characteristics of those fish, as well as taking a look at those gill rakers and being able to make decisions on uh, if they're pure strain, if they're crosses, that sort of thing. So you do see some really neat fish in the sunfish world.